एम एस रामाया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसेस न्यूटन रिंग्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस डिस्कस द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑफ द गिवन प्लेनो कॉन्वेक्स लेंस बाय सेटिंग अप न्यूटन रिंग्स दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज बेस्ड ऑन द फिनोमिना ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस इंटरफेरेंस इज अ फिनोमिना ऑफ सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ टू और मोर वेव्स व्हेन दे मीट एट द सेम पॉइंट The resulting amplitude will depend on the amplitudes of the individual waves at that point. Two waves can interfere constructively or destructively depending upon the phase or path difference between them as shown in figure. When a plano convex lens is placed on a plain glass plate, a thin film of air is enclosed between the lower surface of the lens and upper surface of the glass plate interference fringes are produced due to the superposition between the light reflected at the lower surface of the lens and the upper surface of the plate with monochromatic light bright and dark circular fringes called newton's rings are formed as shown in figure Bright rings correspond to regions of constructive interference and dark rings correspond to regions of destructive interference. Thickness of the air film is very small at the point of contact of the lens and glass plate and increases from the center outwards. The path difference between the rays reflected from the two surfaces is 2 mu t where T is the thickness of the air film and mu is the refractive index of the medium. Constructive interference occurs when the path difference is equal to integral multiples of wavelength and destructive interference occurs when the path difference is equal to half integral multiples of wavelength. The diameter dm of the mth dark ring is related to the radius of curvature r of the plano convex lens by dm square is equal to 4m lambda r diameters dm and dn of the mth and nth dark rings respectively can be measured using a traveling microscope radius of curvature of the given plano convex lens can be determined using the formula as shown Hello students in this experiment we are going to determine the radius of curvature of plano convex lens using newton's ring apparatus the required apparatus 45 degree reflector newton's ring apparatus which consist of plano convex lens and a plane glass traveling microscope sodium vapor lamp magnifying lens and a steady lamp Let's start the experiment. Let us take the Newton's ring apparatus. As I mentioned, it consists of a plano convex lens and a plane glass. To differentiate this, we can see the one which is thinner is plano convex. The one which is slightly thicker is plane glass. Let us mount the plano convex on the top of the plane glass so that. the convex part or the curve part of the lens should touch the plane surface to check whether the mounting is proper if the mounting is proper we can see air gap between two if the mounting is not proper then there is no air gap now let's keep this setup below the reflector and bring the reflector exactly normal to the source this reflector is required to get the normal incident light from the source to this glass plate and that can be done by tilting this reflector to about an angle of 45 degree so let's take the traveling microscope put it exactly like this so make sure the microscope 
should be exactly above the Newton's ring apparatus. Now we can see the microscope is exactly on the top of the Newton's ring apparatus. See through the eyepiece and tilt the reflector towards you until the field of view is completely bright. If the field of view is completely bright that indicates the reflector is exactly at 45 degree. See through the eyepiece and adjust the microscope until you see the Newton's rings. So, now let us rotate the traveling microscope drum and bring the cross wire to the center of the Newton's ring and the, the center spot is called as zeroth ring. So, let us rotate the drum so that the cross wire will move to the the left side of the first dark ring. Similarly, rotate the drum so that it can move up to 18th dark ring. Note down main scale and vernier scale reading. Again, look the eyepiece, rotate the drum so that the cross wire is moving towards right and focus for 16th dark ring and note down the main scale and vernier scale reading. Similarly, repeat the experiment for 14, 12, 10, 8 rings of the left side and similarly for 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18th dark rings of the right side. This completes the experiment. Now from the obtained readings calculate the radius of the curvature of the plano convex lens using the relevant formula. At MSR UAS, we spark your imagination unlike any other.